The FNAF movie actually follows the game's timeline pretty well. The FNAF movie is loosely based on the events of the first FNAF game, FNAF 1. Now, not all of FNAF 1's story is shown in FNAF 1. For example, in FNAF 2, we find out how the animatronics became possessed, as mentioned by Phone Guy. In FNAF 3, we learn about Shadow Freddy helping William Afton to dismantle the classic animatronics sometime after FNAF 1. All of these events are tied to the first game, although they are shown in later games. So to simplify the story of FNAF 1, Mike Smith, a security guard, begins working the night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza where he finds himself defending against hostile animatronics that are possessed by the vengeful spirits of children, victims of the previous owner, William Afton. After narrowly surviving five plus nights, Mike is fired for tampering with the animatronics. Sometime after, William Afton returns to the restaurant to confront the animatronics, but they overpower him and he dies within his old spring bonnie suit. Everything that happens during the time of FNAF 2 is building up to the events of FNAF 1, while everything that happens during the time of FNAF 1 is leading up to the events of FNAF 3. So despite some inaccuracies,